Hi, my seventh tutorial on Visual Basic 2010 Express. Today I'm gonna show you uh, more of uh, if statements. As you can see, I haven't applied a mine um, properties to the video because there is no, there is no need to it. So I will just save some space. Uh, what I'm going to do today is just program on form with the if statement to show you what type of uses we can have with a statement and input and output boxes. So let me click two times on the on the form to get the function. So I got the function. So what I'm gonna show you today is marks um, that you can get from, for example, a test to input a mark and the message, depending on the mark, will be displayed for you uh, when you press, for example, enter in the input box. So first of all, I will need some kind of variable, so I will just declare it. I will say mark as integer. And now I need to say mark is equal to, and that will be, that will be input box, and some kind of message. I will say, for example, please enter your um, mark from exam. Okay, so I have my input box. Now I will do my if statement. So I will start with if. <coughs> I will open brackets and say mark is is more than or equal to uh, eighty. Then I will say. Um, message box will appear and will say that uh, congrats congrats uh, you have passed you have passed um, with the sc score of making add of course mark and I will add another statement, which will say, you got the, this, uh, sorry, distinction, distinction. I will make some, I will make space here and here so that it will, and uh, the mark will be displayed as a, you know, separate value. Okay, so I displayed it here. So now I want else if statement for another mark, which is, which will be mark is more than or equal to 60. Then I will do message box that will say, so if the mark is, if the mark is uh, more than or equal to 60, but not more than or equal to 80, then I will say, uh, congrats, uh, you have passed with the score of, I will also include the mark here. So let me just put mark, <coughs> sorry. And I will say, you got merit. Okay, for another, else if and I will say this time mark uh, sorry even though this one Ma mark is more <coughs> more than or equal to 40 so that will mean um, the mark <coughs> the mark will be still as a past I will display the message again. And you have passed with the score of and mark another end and say you got pass. Okay, so I have all the possibilities of passing now. So everything else should be not passed. So I will just say else 
and message box and say saying message box will be message box will be saying that sorry you have failed okay so when I run this I'll click run I have my input box I input some kind of mark for example 45 and the message will be displayed congrats you have passed with the score of 45 you got passed and I forgot to space them here yeah that should be correct so I, I put input 45 now let's try 60 so congrats you have passed with the score of 60 you got married so this one is executed and if I run it again I will input 80 this time and the statement will say congrats you passed with the score of 80 you got distinction so depending on what type of uh, value and what type of thing we want to represent this is the marking system for the um, grades you will get from your uh, exams but definitely we can have many uses I haven't used any tools in the previous tutorials I have used checkbox checkboxes those but today I wanted to show you uh, how we can do it without any tools used so this is just plain if statement on the form that you can use anytime for anything uh, with use of input box and output box message box in other words and uh, with in statement with variables and uh, stuff like this so in next tutorials I will show you more of those in statements but this time I will use more of those controls probably like combo boxes uh, uh, list boxes those here uh, also maybe later on pictures that will be used with case and uh, progress bar I don't actually know much about them still I will try to show you what they do a text boxes probably not they would just uh, they just text boxes you input numbers buttons probably yes and that will be it for this tutorial here's the code go on and uh, try it out do some kind of programs with it very simple and visit my blog visit my um, youtube channel for more uh, for more tutorials also and uh, this week i have break from tutorials uh, like pep 8 and i think java is on hold yes so try and do this code and see you next tutorial bye